Today I'm going to answer a question from Dave Kessler, and his question is essentially that he understands that the Earth has an excess of electrons and is therefore negatively charged. But when we measure voltage, we have to have something to compare it to. So how can we say the Earth is negatively charged if we have nothing to compare it to? Well, some people say that the Earth has zero volts because that's what we make ground. So let me just draw a picture of the Earth here. And very often we will stick a metal rod in the ground and hook up our equipment to that and call that zero volts. We'll put the black probe of a voltmeter here because by definition where you put that black probe is zero volts. You determine where zero is by putting your black probe somewhere. So if we connect the black probe of a meter to the earth, by definition, the earth is now zero volts, but we made it that way. So if there's an excess of electrons, how can we say that the earth is negative? Well, some people say it's zero volts. So what gives there? Well, let's say there's another body nearby. Let's say maybe the moon. And let's say that there's so many atoms making up the moon and those atoms are made up of protons and electrons. We count those protons and find out that there's exactly as many protons as electrons Therefore, that body is going to be electrically neutral. So is that zero volts? Well, if the Earth has excess electrons, not compared to our point here, if we now put the red probe of that same meter over here, we're going to find that this is zero and that is positive because this has less electrons, it would now be positively charged compared to that. So that would make the Earth zero volts and this some positive voltage. But if we reverse the leads, or the probes, put the red probe on the Earth, and the black probe over on this neutral body, by definition we have just determined or defined the neutral body as zero volts, and the Earth will read something negative. So, if we compared the Earth to a neutral body, then the Earth would be negative. But if we compared the Earth to itself, well, then it's zero. And likewise, if we had some other body out here somewhere, I don't know, some other moon or something, and let's say there's actually an excess of protons over here, more protons than electrons, that's going to be a positive charge. Let's put a plus there, because I'm using N for neutral rather than negative. So that would have a positive charge if there's an excess of protons. And so now if I put my black probe here and my red probe over here, of course now I would read that that is something positive. So if people say that the Earth is negatively charged because it has an excess of electrons, they are implying that we're comparing that to a neutral body that has a balance of protons and electrons and therefore is electrically neutral. But is electrically neutral zero volts? Remember that zero volts has never been scientifically defined. As a matter of fact, if we put the probe here, this is zero volts and that's going to be something negative. So zero volts is where you put the black probe of your meter. So electrically neutral is not necessarily zero volts, but if we want to say that the Earth is negatively charged because there's more electrons than protons, we are implying that it's negatively charged compared to a body that has equal number of electrons and protons. In that case, this would now be our zero volts. This would be negative and that would be positive. If we put our negative probe here, that would be positive and this would be negative. It's all relative as I've shown in many videos before. So just a quick conclusion, if we say the Earth is negatively charged because it has excess electrons compared to protons, we are implying that we're comparing it to a body that has an equal number of electrons and protons, which would be a neutral body. So once again, we are defining our zero volts by a particular place that in this case of the Earth, well, where is it? I don't know. We're just defining that compared to a neutral body, it would be negative. But usually, how much voltage is the Earth? It's usually zero volts. Why? Because that's where we drive a piece of metal into it and say that is now zero volts. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. 
If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.